Here's the standard equation of a circle. Notice when we have x minus h, that positive h will be the x-coordinate of the center. And again, y minus k, where k will be the y-coordinate of the center of the circle. And it's always set equal to r squared, where r is the radius. So here's an example of an equation of a circle. Only thing is, we need to take this equation and change it into the standard form of a circle equation. To do that, first thing we're going to do is group the x's together in the parentheses. Notice the x squared and the minus 4x is in this parentheses. And then the y squared and the plus 10y is in the other set of parentheses. And also, we subtracted the 13 from the left and the right side of the equal sign. So we have the negative 13 on the right side of the equal sign. Next, we're going to be completing the square to fill that empty space. And to do that, we take that negative 4 and we divide it by 2. And then of course, it's equal to negative 2. And then we're going to square the negative 2 where we get a positive 4. And we're going to take that 4, put it into that space that we had made earlier. And if we put a 4 on the left side of the equal sign, we need to go ahead and put a 4 on the right side of the equal sign. Next, we're going to do the same. Take that 10 divided by 2, which gives us 5. And again, we're going to square that, and we get a 25. We're going to take that 25, put it into that empty space that we had made. And by adding the 25 on the left side, we need to go ahead and add 25 on the right side of the equal sign as well. Our next step is to go ahead and factor the x squared minus 4x plus 4 and also the y squared plus 10y plus 25. When you factor the x squared minus 4x plus 4, we get x minus 2 squared. And notice that negative 2 from here is actually the negative 2 that we have. That way you can save some time. Instead of factoring, just go ahead and use the negative 2 plus. We now have y plus 5 squared by factoring. Again, y squared plus 10y plus 25. But again, you know that 5 that we had by dividing the 10 by 2 can be used instead of the actual factoring process. And then we can set this equal to negative 13 plus 4 plus 25, which is 16. Now that we have the equation in the standard form of a circle, we have the center as 2 and negative 5. Notice the 2 is opposite of negative 2. And of course, the negative 5 is opposite of the plus 5 that we had. And since 16 equals r squared, r must be plus 4. Again, even though we're taking the square root, it can't be negative 4 since the radius of a square cannot be a negative value. So the radius is 4. Now, Let's go ahead and graph. Now that we've changed or converted the given equation into a standard circle equation, we're able to find the center and also the radius. We're now ready to graph it. Here's the center at 2 comma negative 5 and the radius of 4. There you go, folks. That's the graph of the circle. Now that we're done with circle, in my future lessons, I'm going to be showing you how to graph hyperbola, ellipse, and also parabola, other conic sections. And as always, thank you very much for watching my videos. And if you haven't already done so, subscribe, hit that like button, and comment.